Good evening, fishing world, friends. So tonight's episode is going to be on how to create a drift bucket, like a drift sock, but for about 10 bucks. And it works excellent. You have no issue with it. Um, it works really good in the river when you got the fight to wind and the current and you are catfishing or any type of fishing and you have the boat sway on the anchor. Well, if you use a drift sock or in this uh, instance, a drift bucket, uh, you throw it over your stern and let the current grab it and it will hold you steady. So you can throw your lines out and they don't go back and forth, potentially deterring, deterring a, uh, a fish bite. So I've done this, I already made it. Um, and I'll show you what I've got. So we've got a five gallon Home Depot bucket. And what I did is evenly across four holes, inch and a quarter drilled. One, two, three, four, and then four in the bottom. And I removed the handle because um, you want a four point holding system uh, due to the uh, bucket handle it would only be a two point and sometimes it will empty itself or dump or lodge or whatever. So what I did was I, I drilled um, four evenly spaced directly across from each other, um, five eighths holes. And then I put um, 200 pound mono on each one with a little chafe guard and crimp up to double eyes, crimped into a swivel. Then I made a tag loop at a double, uh, two, two sets of uh, 200 pound mono. And then I bought some um, regular three strand nylon and I cut it, cut what I needed. And I uh, spliced an eye onto it, got an eye spliced in it. And then you take, um, you say, uh, cut it about six feet, six to eight feet, six feet's fine usually. And I put it onto a uh, brass snap and I uh, spliced it on there. So all I have to do is when I get anchored in the river, snap this to a stern eye on your boat, just let it go and the, the current will grab it and it'll hold you steady. And the holes are there simply so you can pull it back to the boat um, when you want to retrieve it. And I put a swivel in it so that if it does want to spin, it can, it can spin freely and not get this line all unwound and messed up. Um, I think uh, there's several people on the internet, this uh, world that have demonstrated this or showed one, but I wanted to go ahead and make one into completion give you guys a uh, cheap and easy way to make your own. You can Google how to splice. I was fortunate enough to be a bosun in the Coast Guard many years ago, so I learned all that then, so it's kind of easy to me. Um, you don't have to splice it. You could tie a bowling in it or something to hold. And um, personally, I've just found that six feet works pretty good, so that's what I made it. Uh, you can adjust that if you would like for your particular application. But anyway, uh, that's it for this evening's uh, little tidbit for fishing hacks, I guess. Uh, thanks for viewing. Have a good night.